What's up guys, I'm Eric Dark. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Girl Action and today we're gonna be going over this month's Mystery Tackle Box. this month's mystery tackle box if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe to the dark relaxing channel hit that little subscribe button right down there for me and while you're at it go ahead and turn on that notification bell so you get alerts whenever one of my new videos drop so now let's go ahead and jump into this month's mystery tackle box now the first thing that i always see in every one of my boxes is of course the dibbles tips and tricks which is a little booklet of little tips and tricks of how to throw these baits what time of year and exactly how to fish them now the second thing you get in the box is what's inside the bass pro box this is a list of everything you have in the box and it's exact price value right over here on the side so you exactly know the value of the box that you're getting. Now if y'all don't know anything about Mystery Tackle Box, I'm going to tell you this. It is a once a month subscription box that you get once a month delivered straight to your door for the low price of $30. It is amazing. I've never regretted it. I've been going over a year now getting these boxes and I absolutely love it. Now the first thing I see in the box is a bait that I've been waiting so so long to get and I have not gone out and bought it because I knew eventually I would get it in one of these boxes right here and that is the baby bull bullgill. This awesome freaking swim bait right here. This is a 3.75 inch. Um, it doesn't say how much it weighs but I imagine it's probably about close to an ounce. Probably about close to an ounce. But it is an awesome, awesome swim bait. I've seen so many videos of people fishing with this, catching huge fish, huge bass. So it's a must-have for your arsenal. So I'm so excited to finally get this in my box because I am definitely going to fish the living crap out of it. <laughs> now the next thing is, of course, we have to have some Guggen baits. And the thing we got in here is the clutch coming in with the crawfish color. Because it is that time of year, guys. The crawfish are spawning along with the bass. So this color is definitely going to come in. Clutch. Ha, huh, a little ironic there. The next thing we got in the box is to make more excite baits. These are the ribbon tail worms, I believe. Yes. Yes, hold on. Let me open these because these look don't look like ribbon tails. These are something a little bit different. Oh, these are ribbon tails. They just have that little ball right there, if y'all can see that. Yeah. Kind of a weird ribbon tail, but still a ribbon tail nonetheless from excite baits. And I don't know how many you get in here. It doesn't say. They're floating, so you can definitely use some wait lists for top high floaters. Great to have. Another thing that I've been waiting for, I've heard a lot about these jigs. These are diesel jigs. This is a football jig. This is a half ounce coming in, in the blue and gray color. Very, very nice. Definitely going to come in handy with that, especially this time of year fishing on beds. Jigs are a must to have. Well, I want to check this guy out. It's got to have the one thing I look for in every jig. And that is a strong weed guard, but not too strong because sometimes, you know, the bass will bite it. And if the weed guard is too strong, that's going to come right out of their mouth. It just happens. I've seen it happen. It's happened to me. Now, already, yeah, the weed guard is tough, but not that tough. See, you can press it down. See, perfect. That's exactly what you're looking for. You like a good weed guard, but not something that's too tough. That is just a really, really nice jig. That might be one of my new favorites right there. I really like that. The color's really good. The blue really stands out with this, uh, like, it's like a gray, dark brown skirt. And the blue really, really stands out with it. And I really, really like that. So this is from, uh, yeah, Diesel Jigs. Football Jig. Hard Hat Jigs by Ketchco. Really nice. Really, really nice. Like it. Like it a lot. Next in the box, we have some cream baits. These are 3.75 inch crawls, a five pack and they are the green pumpkin color oh yeah oh yeah definitely put those on a texas rig or definitely going to be using them from trailers oh well speaking of trailer look at that right there that would just go really well with each other look at that wow hold on let me let me go ahead and make this happen for y'all so y'all can see See, that's the awesome thing about Mystery Tackle Box is sometimes you'll get stuff that pairs together perfectly and you don't even realize it until you've actually tested it out. Hold on, let me see here. I'll put this through, hook. Check it, check it, check it, check it.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See? Just like that. Doesn't that look good? Right there. Just pair those two together. Diesel football jig, half ounce, and the cream 3.75 inch crawls. And that is just money right there. Especially for the spawning season, you're fishing on beds. Throw this bad boy out there. Coming straight from Mystery Tackle Box, guys. Oh, can't get any better than that. So yes, that is the cream. Craters of the original plastic worm right there for you. And these are the Green Pumpkin 3.75 inch crawls. Next in the box, we of course, of course, I get these in pretty much every box, but you know what? I'm not hating because I use them. These are the Harmony hooks. These are a little bit smaller. These look like a two aught. They're very, very tiny, guys. Let me take one out of here for you. Y'all can see how small these are. Wow, these are little small J hooks. Little tiny guys. Talk about some finesse fishing with these. Woo! And you get three in a pack, which isn't bad. But yeah, those are the Harmony hooks. And next we have, I'm gonna butcher this name because I've never heard of these before. I mean, I've heard of them kind of, but not this particular brand name. This is the Marabu Pro Runner. Here, I'll let y'all read that. Marabu Pro Runner. It is a 1 4th ounce, 7.08 grain. And it is a, uh, looks like a hair jig with an underspin. Let me go ahead and take it out for you. Take out the box so y'all can see. Wow, yeah, that is pretty, pretty neat. Yeah, there it is. It's a little white hair jig with an underspin. Now, I don't know if most any of y'all really fish for white bass, but the white bass spawn is coming upon us along with the striper spawn. And I know they would eat this up, especially that underspin and give you an extra flash. I mean, it's not too big because white bass and striper don't have the biggest mouths like largemouth. But this would be the perfect size for a white bass or a striper. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. And you have all that fluff, really good presentation. You have the underspin for the flash. Just great. Really, really great. So once again, this is the uh, Marabu Pro Runner. It's a little road runner finesse bait. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this month's awesome freaking sticker is a cowboy bass with a lasso. That's pretty cool. They, re they really do give you some really cool decal in these boxes, which is really, really fun to have. Now at the bottom of this is a little information about the Mike Buka baby bullgill. Okay, now I'm gonna read this for you. It says gear recommendations. So it tells you exactly what gears to uh, fish with this, rod action, reel speed, what type of line to use. And that really, really comes in handy because if you're not familiar with fishing swim baits like this, these little cards at the bottom of the box will really help you out so you know exactly how to throw them and what to throw them on. But let me go ahead and read it out for you. Gear recommendations, rod power. You want a medium to medium heavy crankbait style rod. That means a rod with a little good amount of bend at the tip but a really, really strong backbone. Rod action, moderate. Reel speed, you want a medium to fast retrieval speed. I'm talking high sixes to seven to one, seven to five, something like that. Or yeah, high, like six, six to one at your lowest. Seven, uh, seven to one highest, or seven five in the middle, something like that. And your line, you want 10 to 15 pound fluorocarbon or monofilament. Why? Because that'll be clear, they won't be able to see the braid, and it'll sink, and that's giving you a lot of action. This thing is already slow sinking so if you want to sink a little bit more go ahead and throw on that mono give it a little bit more sinking action be good to go but guys that is it for this month's mystery tackle box i gotta say they really went all out with this from the jig to the new clutch to my favorite the bullgill 3.75 inch i am um, i'm really excited those i really might go out today if i have enough time before work and i'm probably gonna go throw this out and just see how it looks on the water because i know it's gonna look super juicy but that is it for today guys I really, really hope you all enjoyed the video. Like again, if you haven't made, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Collection channel. I post these videos monthly talking about Mystery Tackle Box because I love them, I believe in them, and I wouldn't tell y'all guys to go get something if I didn't like it myself. But anyway, guys, that is it. I love you guys. Y'all keep it real. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace, guys.